Hey there everybody, this is McFly Gold, and welcome to episode 5 of the Point and Click Adventure Toolkit Tutorial Series. Um, this one is going to be based on creating a cutscene where you would have a uh, camera swapping back and forth between the player and the NPC. So the first thing that I want to do is come down here and let's type in NPC. We're going to get this guy. And in my uh, folders here, I have a characters folder. So I'm going to copy the NPC character into there. And I'll just rename it to something really simple just my npc if you've been following along and you you know kept the same folder structure as i did then you should be good to go if not you know you can set it up however you'd like to um what i'm going to do is add the npc over here by the car Let's turn them around. There we go. All right, so there's, let's move the car back a little bit. And put that there. And I'm gonna duplicate this interaction volume and Let's set it right there. And I'm going to select it and pick the NPC. Let's save that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add in a couple of cameras. One, two, and these are going to be to look at the uh, NPC and the player. Now I'm going to pilot this one and get it. Let's put it kind of like that. Let's eject from there. And grab this one, right click and pilot. And this is going to be, all right, so the player will be standing here. I'm going to guesstimate that it should be looking like right there. And if not, it can be adjusted. All right. So we've got this camera and this camera. Now what we want to do is go into our scene manager and add a reference to these two cameras. So we're going to click that scene manager that I have over there, edit, open the whole thing, and add two variables. So I'll call this camera one. We're going to change the variable, uh, variable type to camera. It's, uh, where is it? Camera actor. And then make another one. Camera two. And both of these need to be instance editable. And we're going to give them a category just to make it easier to find cutscene when we're looking through here. Cutscene. All right. So now we have camera one and camera two, we can use the picker 
and click that for camera one and click this for camera two. So camera one will look at the player first and then camera two will look at the NPC. Okay. Next thing we want to do is in our scene manager, we're going to make a new custom event. Now you can make a new event graph so that you can keep things organized and pretty. That's perfectly fine. Since I don't have anything going on in here, I'm just going to add it in here. So custom event, and I'll just name this cutscene. Activate. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the PNC controller. Did I spell that wrong? Uh, player, PNC player controller. There we go. Enable. No, not enable input. Let's, let's try it, uh, set, set input enable. There we go. And we want to disable the input for the player. All right. We're just going to copy that guy over and we're going to set view target with blend and Connect that. And now I said camera one was this one, right? That should be right. Scene manager, camera one. Yep. So get a reference to that. Connect that in there. So this is setting up the uh, camera switching to looking at the player. So we want it to be instant, so we're not going to add a blend time or anything like that. Now we're going to pause. So we're going to hold D and click create a delay. And we'll do it for three seconds. Oh, not 30. <laughs> do it for three seconds. And then we're going to basically do the same thing. So I can really just control C, control V, copy that. Except we want to change camera one to camera two. So just drag this right onto there. Bink. Now we're going to copy this delay. So for another three seconds, so he's going to say something, there's going to be a three second pause, switch camera, another three second pause, and then we're going to copy these two. Connect it up. Now for the view target, we want PNC camera manager. This is going to return the camera back to our normal view. And then we can actually come back to the beginning here, grab these two, control C. Connect that up and re-enable input for the player. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Cutscene activate will be what we're calling. We're going to disable input, switch cameras, wait three seconds, switch cameras, wait three seconds, give back to the player camera, and re-enable input. All right. 
that should take care of that. Now we want to go to our NPC. And let's edit him or her, either or. <laughs> and we want to override. Um, what is this called? Talk to. There we go. Pull this apart. Now what we want to do is get a reference to our scene manager. So get get scene manager. And then, so my scene manager is called BP scene manager level one, cause that's the level that we've been working on. So we're gonna cast to BP scene manager level one. Connect that up. And now we wanna call cut scene activate. Okay, then we want to get the parent function. There we go, add call the parent function. Let's pull this apart a little bit more, grab this, put this here. Connect that up, connect these up. And then copy this, put it down here in case the cast fails for some reason, which hopefully it shouldn't if you did everything right. Compile that. Now we need to name the interaction dialog. So we're just going to call it cutscene dialogue. You can name this whatever you want. Just make sure you remember it. We're going to copy that so I don't misspell it later. Compile. And then we're going to go to Go to my folder here, scenes level one. And we're gonna go to the data table for our dialogue. Open that up. We're gonna add a new row. And that's gonna be cutscene dialogue. Okay. So now I'm going to have the player say, do you have any gas? And he's asking that because one of the things we set up for the car, we look at interact car, uh, interact car one, says I need gas. So I just figured that'd be a funny question. Do you have any gas? he doesn't have any gas and we're going to set it to three seconds that's how long our delay is okay add another one i'm Sorry, I'm all out. And then that will be three seconds. Save that. 
Okay, so the next thing you want to do is come here to the character tag. And this is for the reply. I'm sorry, I'm all out. I'm going to click this. We're going to hit initiator. And then save that. And let's test it out. Should be good. Hit play. Now this is after um, everything's already been saved. So we open this up. There's no fluffy food and the door leads to the other location now. Okay, I can walk up to the car. It says I need gas. Ha, perfect. Now I'll click on NPC. Do we have any gas? I'm sorry, I'm all out. Perfect. There you go. Set up your first cutscene with multiple cameras. And I even nailed the camera location. It looks great. <laughs> first try every time. All right, there you go. That is how to set up a cutscene with multiple cameras. You can extend that to make it longer just by adding more back and forth view target with blends and delays, and then adding more interactions here in the cutscene dialogue. Well, I hope you found that helpful. And I think I have one more tutorial that I'm going to make. So until next time, make sure you put gas in your car. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.